Good morning, y'all. How's everybody doing this morning? This is Todd from Reap With Yourself. Y'all, I got about three or four different tips that I want to share with y'all this morning. It makes it a little bit easier on this LT15 and stuff that I figured out and I found that can really help you out a lot. It makes makes sawing a lot easier. First thing, these standards right here. They're very important. This sawmill has, has four of them on there. If you notice on the bottom right here, I have a nut with a washer. I have done broke three out of four of them off of here. By not, well actually it's got five. By not putting them all the way up, or having only two up at a time, instead of having them all up, when this log comes rolling in and, and hits them, if it hits them too hard, it, there's a little bitty tack weld on the bottom of that thing that's breaking. I thought it was just me doing it, but I've been looking on them pages. There's several people having that problem. Wood Miser's got a problem with it, and they know they do. It's got to be completely welded out or put a washer on it. A washer works fine. It's a quick, easy fix. I'm gonna get, When I get a welding machine over here, I'm going to weld them out. But there's what it is, they're just putting a little bitty tack on there, and when the logs are hitting it, it's popping it out really doesn't hurt anything you could just push it back in put a washer on there put a nut on there and you're done with it i will weld them all the way out when it, when i get a uh, portable welding machine over here my welding machine won't reach it right here where it's at but uh that's just the first tip i'm gonna show you different tips as we go along on here stuff that's just made life a lot easier i'm gonna cut some one by 12s out of this thing We'll find out what we can get. If you've noticed when I was putting it up here, I tried to knock some of the bark off. The logs have been sitting a little while. The bark is starting to come off, which it really doesn't matter when you cut. It doesn't hurt anything. But I drug them through the mud, bringing them over here. As much as that as you can get off, saves your blades. I'm not going to take real thin cuts and keep cutting and cutting and, you know, getting the one bys on the top. I don't need them. The smaller ones, you'll run more cuts wear it on your blade and you're not getting the material out i always put the small end facing the sawmill well i say always the only time i don't is if it's a huge log you don't want to be cutting in the log and get to the other end and you get hung up in there because it's too big in that situation i'll put the big end on this side and that way you know you can go all the way through the log but a normal size log, I always cut with a small end facing me. That way, when you're cutting through, you get more material and you don't run out of log. It's so aggravating when you start cutting through the log and you run out of log. So your board's going to be shorter, which is really no big deal. But it's a pain when, you, when you're trying to get that length of board. But this is just a few tips that I've got. And I'm going to show you as I go. And there's some more. So stick with me. Let's enjoy this. It's been about... Three weeks since I've been on the sawmill. I had a lot of stuff going on. I haven't been making no videos on them. Just a bunch of other stuff going on. It is so hot in Louisiana right now. It has just broke daylight and I'm out here already. I've done been in the uh, trailer sharpening blades, setting blades before daylight. But I got daylight now. I'm going to work for a little while this morning before it gets too hot.
notice when I come through that log that time? I was cutting through this 15 inches wide, pushing this sawmill with one finger. That's how easy this LT15 is to push manually. On your return, I can just push it with one hand and it goes right back. What I did is took that rope off. That rope tree you can manually go through, which is nice when you're in a great big log, you want to keep a good smooth cut, it's nice. But the drag that that puts on this sawmill is unreal. When you take that rope off, you can push that sawmill with one hand through this stuff. It makes a whole lot easier. Now the LT15 has an automatic drive where you can put on there, cut through the log, you set it, it cuts through, they're nice. If you're looking at over a thousand dollars to put that on here I don't have the money and I don't need it I mean if I did it all the time yeah it'd be nice same thing with the hydraulics I've had it before you cut more wood you cut faster it's easier but then you're getting into money for what I do this works fine take that rope off guys that's another tip it makes it so much easier it is very easy to put back on you run it back through the pulleys, the knots are done still in the rope. I got the rope hanging up over there. Take it off and try it. I seen another guy do it. I watch YouTube videos too. I'd have never dreamed it was that much easier to push this sawmill through without that rope on there. Another tip. On my drip. If you see it's just barely dripping, you do not need water. Run straight diesel. You're not filling this thing up a couple times a day putting water in it if you're using diesel a small drip on there it's there to keep your blade clean you can't beat diesel it keeps it clean and it keeps your rollers lubed up water washes grease out it lubed up i hope these tips tips are helping y'all when i'm fixing to roll this log again give me a good uh squared side and i know exactly what i got if you notice on the forks i'm throwing all my trash on the forks I'm going to go haul them off. I used to throw them right here by me, but it's too hot around here right now. I'm going in the woods and dumping them, getting them away from the sawmill. It's nice in the wintertime to have a fire right here by you, but right now, no. This morning when we got up, it's 80 degrees, and the humidity is unreal. I'm, I'm sweating already, just and it's nice out. The sun ain't come out. Heat index is going to be 105, 108 degrees today in Oakdale. That is too hot to be out in this working i've got a fan blowing on me it's it's not the heat y'all it's the humidity the humidity is terrible here i hate louisiana weather in the summertime good in the wintertime but in the summertime oh lord it's hot you got to do everything all your outside stuff early got the shade on the top keep the sun off of you but it's still hot the humidity is still here Guys, I don't know if you can tell by my hand, but running my hand across this log right here, that's how I feel but to figure out when I need to change my blade. Besides it slowing the mill down, you can feel it when you're pushing. Right here, there's, where this knot is, is a little bitty bump. And right here, I'm moving my hand extreme to show you where the bump's at. It's right in them knots. Right here is a little dip. What I'm gonna do is roll it one more time, take the last rounded side off, get rid of all the bark all the way around all your dirt that's what dulls your blade once i do that i'm gonna change my blade out and be ready to go again you don't want to change your blade until you get your four sides squared out if it's cutting decent then that way your your what it does it dulls your blade when you got the salt the uh bark on there with the dirt in it and so it dulls your blade fast but you get your four sides cut change your blade ready to go again let's change this blade out all 
right, I just took the tension off with the arm, dropped it down. This is the way I found easiest to change it. Push down in the middle. It pulls that slack in. Catch it from the top. And then you work your bottom out. Always put this right side on first. I come back to the left side, put the top on, and then right here your, your belt is sagging, hanging down a little bit. You grab it with your hands behind it, pull up with it, and take your thumbs and push forward on your blade. And it slides right into place. Clamp it tight, roll it a little bit. That lines your blade up so you're ready to go when you start it up. Here's another tip. Coming in with the sawmill, if you're leaving your wood on the sawmill, I can make this last cut. My next cut, this corner right here, is going to hit. What I do is leave all of them on here, pick them up in my tractor, bring them where they need to go. To be able to go all the way down, you take these top three or four, slide them over. You make it look like that. That way you can cut all the way down, leave them on the sawmill, I'll put my arms up, take my forks, and I'll pick the whole load up at one time.
Now I'll come over here and put these up in the back. I got, I got the standards up in the back and I'll take my forks, drop up underneath it, pick the whole load up, go stack it up to dry or put it on a trailer, whatever I want to do. Guys, it is warming up already. I'm fixing to go in the house and take a break, cool off a little bit. I'm fixing to go edit this video and put it up today. This is Saturday morning. I'm fixing to go edit and put it up. Guys, we're having a benefit for St. Jude this evening. We will be going live around 6 o'clock this evening. This is Saturday, Central Time, 6 o'clock. We're going to a rodeo. We're going to be filming and going live during this rodeo. It's all bulls. The first part of the rodeo is going to be kids riding the miniature bulls. I'm going to try to get some footage with the GoPro that you have never seen before. That's what I'm going to try to do. I'm going to see if it's going to work out or not. But we will be live at 6 o'clock this evening at Crowley Rodeo. And we're going to have a good time. It's going to be a different kind of video, but the camera's going to be running the whole time and going live. Y'all going to see some, some neat stuff. But guys, if you like this kind of content, give me a thumbs up. Share it out, y'all. If any of these tips helped y'all out, let me know. Not everybody operates the same way I do. But I just try to do stuff as easy as I can to make it enjoyable to saw. I love getting out here sawing this wood. It's relaxing, enjoyable. I don't do it to get ahead of nothing. I just cut a little bit because I just enjoy doing it. Guys, give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment. Y'all come join the live tonight. Let's have some good time. Help St. Jude out. God bless y'all. I love y'all. Appreciate you. We thank y'all for everything. God bless. Bye-bye.